Hey everybody, Mike here once again and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to actually be another maintenance item. Uh, it could be a problem that a lot of you are dealing with, whether it's with your uh, Sky Solstice or any car that's out there. And that is unfortunately the um, whenever the headlights start fogging. So um, a few uh, a few months ago, actually, I think it was the beginning of summer, middle, middle of summer, <clears throat> I was actually fixing the, uh, or getting rid of the fogging on my headlights using one of those wipe new type products. I don't think it was the actual wipe new one, but it was one of those types of products that was on there. And it seemed to work pretty good, but unfortunately it doesn't last, or at least that one didn't last. And uh, uh, the, the fogging, not a whole lot, but it's coming back and it's driving me crazy. So. Um, this time what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and use some um, wet sanding and uh, hopefully that'll provide, uh, you know, get rid of any of the fogging that's on there and then I have a special uh, professional grade clear coat that I'm going to be spraying on the, um, on the headlights once it's done. So hopefully that professional grade clear coating, which I'll show you what it is, uh, will do its job and keep these headlights clear, you know, at least for another year or two years or hopefully even longer than that. So. Uh, that being said, let me go ahead and get started. All right, now I've already taken the headlight housings out of my sky, and uh, I actually have a video um, that I previously did a few months ago. I'll go ahead and put a link below so you guys can check that video out. But it's pretty much just four hex type screws that you, uh, that you take out, and you just have to disconnect the wiring from the housing, and they come out quite easily. And what's really nice about the sky and the solstice um, hoods, how they pop up like this, they, uh, it's very easy to get to and very easy, very easy to work on. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and kind of set up my table and start uh, start wet sanding these and show you uh, the products I'm using. So this is the driver side uh, headlight housing, and it's not too too bad. But if we look on this one side here, you can see there's a lot of discoloration and uh, and fogging and everything else going on. Uh, but some of it isn't. I mean, some of it's actually perfectly clear. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to treat the entire, I'm going to sand the entire housing down and, and treat it as well so just so it's all nice and uniform. But this is kind of like the main area that I need to get all of the work done on is right there. And then there's also some up here. The passenger side headlights, not quite as bad. It's mainly just, I don't know if you even see it, but mainly just at the bottom part here. But once again, I might go ahead and just um, sand the whole thing down uh, and pretty much start from scratch. So. Uh, what I'm going to be using is, I got 400, 800, uh, and 1,000 grit wet, uh, wet uh, sandpaper. And I also have a product here called uh, Spray Max Clear Glamour, 2X, or 2K Clear Glamour. And this is, like I said, this is a professional use only. Um, this was actually recommended to me by somebody that's on Facebook. So I went and I purchased that on Amazon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my wet sanding, start off with the 400, go to the 800, then the 1000. Uh, I was trying to get 600, but unfortunately our Home Depot did not have the 600 in stock. So but I think we'll be okay going from four to eight to 1000. So let me go ahead and get my bucket of water and get started. All right, I got my 400 grit sandpaper and I'm gonna go ahead and put some water on it and then just start sanding. You're going to see it kind of cloud up. Looks like it's going to be scratched and everything while you're sanding. Don't get too alarmed with that. Just make sure you use plenty of water whenever you're doing your sanding. You should be fine. All right, so now I'm going to bump it up to the 800 grit paper. Okay, I'm 
going to pump it up to a thousand. As you can see, it's all kind of like hazed over and everything. That's that's actually fine. You're gonna uh, you're gonna see that whenever you're sanding it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. Work on the other one, and then we'll go back and put the clear coat on here and see how it looks. Okay, so I'm ready to go ahead and put the clear coat on the uh, on the one headlight housing. And like I said, I am using this product here, which I got off of Amazon. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a um, put a link below in the comments. And it does say it's a professional grade product and they recommend uh, some sort of respirator so I went and I picked one of these up at uh, at Home Depot as well even though I'm shooting you know, spraying it outside uh, I can never be too cautious with this kind of stuff so I've never used it before so I went and picked this up and I got this spray and I am ready to go now with this clear coat it actually there's uh, two parts to it there's a the clear coat and there's also a hardener and you pretty much you take this piece off this red piece and you attach it to this little bottom uh, button there and then you, you smack it and it actually releases the hardener into the clear coat and then you can go ahead and do your spraying. So I'm going to go and uh, do that and start spraying the, uh, the headlights. You kind of shake it for a couple of minutes first. I already put the red piece on here and then you just go ahead and here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and shake it for a couple more minutes and then we should be ready to start spraying. I'm going to go ahead and start off with one light coat and then I'm going to do a couple of more coats after that one. I thought I was recording whenever I was sprayed that first coat on there and I don't think I was. So I'm going to go ahead you can kind of see the results already are looking pretty good and what I'm going to do is uh, once that dries, I'm going to go ahead and put another coat on there, um, and maybe maybe in a couple more coats, maybe three or four all together. So I put three coats of the uh, clear coat on there, and um, wasn't 100% satisfied. It had some little pits and couple of things on there so I went and I took a thousand grit uh, wet sandpaper I sanded it down one more time so now it's nice and smooth again I'm gonna put another coat a couple of coats on there and uh, hopefully that does the trick Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let that dry overnight and see how it looks tomorrow. Okay, so here we are. I let the housing dry overnight and actually it looks pretty good. It's not 100% perfect, which uh, like coming right out of the factory, but it looks much better than it did before. A lot of that discoloration that I showed you down here is gone. However, and it's kind of hard to tell, I can see some kind of weird discoloration in some of these areas. It's real faint, but it's there and it might have been um, a case of me not sanding down the original clear coat enough to get you know I didn't get all of it off of there basically and um, I don't know if I'll change it or if I'll redo it or not um, the way it looks good you know it looks good now so I might just keep it on there see how long this lasts and if for some reason the discoloration comes up again then I'll start it again from scratch but um, the other thing that I did too as a warning for you guys is I got a little carried away on one of the uh, the coats you can kind of see that it was running right there so I may or may not sand that out before I install the uh, the headlight what I'll probably do is kind of test install it if it's covered I'm just gonna leave it go for now and uh, but if it if you can see it then I'll go ahead and sand that out and respray it but other than that you know I'm very satisfied with the uh, the sanding method and I did it with the I didn't show it but I did it with the other headlight as well so um, anyway I think 
depending on what happens with this uh, little uh, running area there, I think I pretty much wrapped these up and I'm going to go ahead and just reinstall them. I have a Cars and Coffee coming up in a couple days and I'm going out of town so I'm not going to have time to to resand or do anything with these now but it might be another project I'll just do again in the summertime uh, when it's a little bit warmer. Alright so I'm all finished, got the lights reinstalled. They actually they look pretty good. Uh, got rid of all of that green stuff that was on there before but like I said it's kind of hard to tell on the video there is a little bit of discoloration uh, I mean a normal person they walked up to it they probably wouldn't even notice but I do so depending whether or not I'm going to change that or not or redo it um, again there's a little bit of the uh, runoff here as well it doesn't look too bad but maybe if I take an afternoon or something when I'm bored I can just go ahead and sand that off and then uh, and then respray just that section but I'm pretty happy with it I think that the uh, the sanding to get rid of the to remove the stuff it does a really good work but as you can see with my video um, make sure you sand it enough uh, if you think you, if you think you sanded it enough probably be best to go ahead and sand it a little bit more uh, just to get all of that clear coat off of there which is uh, what I didn't do but um, even so you know I wish I'd have done a little bit more but even so still looks a lot better than the original uh, way that they look so so if you like this video, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Hit that little bell uh, icon that's next to it so you get notification whenever I do come up with new videos. And um, I actually did purchase a new GoPro uh, camera and um, an actual small microphone that goes with it. So I'm trying to improve the quality and the sound of my videos. I know sometimes when I'm in the car driving around, it's a little bit loud uh, with the background noise and things, especially in a convertible. But uh, hopefully that new GoPro camera with the microphone is going to work with there. I'm also going to try to come up with some different kind of videos. I'm hoping to do some autocross. Never did autocross before, but I'm hoping to do some autocross sometime this year. And obviously I'll be posting videos with that's going on too. So if you like autocross, like I said, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, tell your friends. I'm trying to boost up my subscribers. YouTube made some changes to its, uh, to its rules and regulations. So the more subscribers, the better. And the more uh, watch channels the better as well and that wraps up this video and i will see you next time